Hello and welcome to the MetaTrader 5 video series with AMP Futures. Today we're going to show you how to add indicators from the Navigator window within the MetaTrader 5 software. If you're not familiar with the Navigator window, it's this particular window here that you see on the left side of the workspace. Uh, let me go ahead and close it real quick. Just in case if you don't have it added, I'm going to show you real quick how to activate the function. All right, so you can see that I don't have it enabled. And what we're going to do, we're going to go here on the top of the platform, go to View. And then you're going to see Navigator right here. All right, so Navigator, I definitely would highly recommend using it. It's going to be an easy way to access uh, your indicators, your EAs, expert advisors, or if you're running scripts within MetaTrader 5. If you are a frequent user or an experienced user of MetaTrader 5, you probably understand the strengths of the software, which is basically the EA expert advisors, proprietary language that's used within the software to create all sorts of things, whether they're custom indicators, uh, trading robots, automated trading strategies, and so forth. So when you have the Navigator window populated within MetaTrader 5, uh, you have all those particular tools right there at your fingertips, and you can drag and drop them right onto your chart uh, so you can easily apply those particular tools. Uh, so we're going to show you basically uh, for today, we'll, we'll keep it simple. We'll show you how to add basic indicators onto the chart from the Navigator window. There are videos that we have done just showing you how to insert indicators within the software from a general perspective. Uh, but this is going to be a little more efficient using the Navigator window because you can use a drag and drop function, which allows you to add the indicator a lot quicker. All right, so first things first, you want to activate the Navigator window, which I just demonstrated by going to View. And just make sure you select Navigator if you don't already have that applied. That way you've already knocked that down. So then we're going to go ahead and hit the drop-down menu here. And you can see on the indicators drop-down, it creates a tree drop-down. So you can see there's different category groups for specific indicators, whether they're trend indicators, oscillators, volume, Bill Williams. And um, there's also more as, such as examples. And also there's another video that, I've, that we've recently done, how to download indicators from the code base. So if there's any third-party indicators that you may have add, uh, downloaded into the software, normally you would see a downloads folder also within this section. Okay, so for now, let's just go with a basic trend indicator. I'll just go with Bollinger Bands. And then you're going to go ahead and left-click the indicator to highlight it. So you're looking for that highlight. We can see, you can see it's represented by that blue highlight. And then all you need to do is just hold down the left-click with your mouse. And then just while holding down the left-click, drag it on top of your chart while holding down the left-click and just release your left-click. And then what will happen is the Bollinger Bands property section will populate, which is going to then ask you what parameters do you want to use for the Bollinger Bands indicator. All right, so we're going to keep everything as default. If you're wondering uh, what these different options represent, uh, for example, these parameters, be sure to watch the uh, how to insert videos video that we did for MetaTrader 5. It will be a little more in-depth in terms of how to apply indicators on the chart from just simply adding them to the chart or also going through the breakdown of what the parameters mean. All right, so of course, every indicator has different parameters because every indicator uh, performs differently from one another. So you're going to have different variations and different parameters that you can set for each particular indicator that you decide to use. In this case, we have Bollinger Bands. It's asking us what period. Uh, we're going to go ahead and skip forward. We'll skip all that for now. And we're going to leave everything as a default setting. We're going to click OK. And now you can see the Bollinger Bands indicator has been applied onto the chart. Uh, let's take you through one more example. Uh, let's go to remove the indicator for now. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click on the chart, delete the indicator. It's gone. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this moving average as well. So now we have a blank chart with just one indicator, which is at the bottom, which is the volume indicator. All right, so let's go down the list. Uh, let's go ahead and choose something from the oscillators group instead. Let's go with the MACD. So again, you're going to left click to highlight the indicator. Take your left click. And then once you have it highlighted, you want to hold down the left click while holding down the left click, move it onto the chart and release your left click. So it's a drag and drop. And same thing, you're going to see now that the MACD property section has populated. Now you need to choose you know, what type of value do you want to use for the fast exponential moving average, uh, what do you want to use for the MACD SMA, and so forth. So make sure you make your changes accordingly. Once you do that, just go ahead and click OK. And now you can see the indicator has been added onto the chart. So that's the advantage of using the Navigator. It's just going to be a little more efficient in getting the indicators added onto the chart versus going to insert indicators go here, and then you're going to have to select which indicator. So it's, I mean, technically it's kind of a give and take. It's all personal preference, uh, but I find it uh, for myself, based on my personal preference, it seems a little easier just to add it by dragging and dropping that particular indicator right off the Navigator window. If you have any questions about this, please contact your 24-hour support team. You can reach us at 
893-6400, extension 1, gets you transferred directly to our help desk. Uh, definitely stay up to date on our YouTube channel. You can visit us at www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thank you for tuning in once again. We appreciate your time, and happy trading.